During the school year, I used to feel so stressed and overwhelmed all the time. I was always telling myself I'm so over it. There's no way I'm getting through another semester. So I shifted my mindset and understood that school was something I was going to get through, which made me put energy into how I could enjoy it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I romanticized school, which helped me to get better grades, enjoy learning, and made me feel excited for the next semester. made it a priority to get up and get ready before school. Even when I was commuting an hour to campus for my 8 a.m., I would still wake up at like 5 or 5.30 and get ready. I always just love taking time for me in the morning and having things to do before I get to school, and I felt like my schedule didn't revolve around school. I love going to Starbucks, especially the pumpkin spice latte that just came out. It's so good during this time of year. Like, it sets the vibe for my fall day. But I've been getting it recently, and it's been over $8 which is so unreal. Like I remember when Starbucks drinks were like three or four dollars. So I don't know what happened there. Obviously that's not very doable every day. Plus when I'm running late, I don't have time to go through the drive-thru. Cause the worst thing is you walk into campus late and you have like a Starbucks in your hand. Like they know why you're late. So I've been making coffee more and more at home and I love it. I have like a little station set up. So I want to show you guys how I do it all at home. So this corner of my kitchen is where I set up all my coffee stuff. I've showed you guys this poster. It's so cute. It's very much me. I love coffee. I just love having an area like this to come over in the morning. So I have a mug tree. This one's from Amazon. These two containers have all of my K-cups. This one is my favorite K-cup blend. And then I love this like tiered shelf. I have all of these Earth Cafe mugs, which are so cute. And then this is the blend I've been making all the time. I love the dancing water from Phil's. So I got that to make in my French press. Some more K-cups. And then back here I have syrups lavender and vanilla and then I have caramel drizzle and then look at my little coffee towel so I just wanted to show you guys that like even though I'm not going out and getting coffee it's so fun to make it here and have like a little to-go cup all right so I think I'm going with this look how cute this little bag is I love it it's a mini one of my big backpack and it's so cute for school I would just take my regular big size but I love how this looks like the crossbody and then it being like a mini one right here the pink is so cute too I love pink so I have on this free people top and then these green low-rise cargo pants I've had for a while they're from urban but this is so cute and this is definitely something I would wear to school I would definitely describe my style as cute and comfy, especially when it comes to school. I wanna feel confident in what I'm wearing, but I also want it to be very movable. And here are some examples of some of my favorite school outfits that I've worn, especially in college. A lot of these are lightweight and movable. These were like some of my favorite outfits because they were so cute and like I felt confident walking around campus, but I also could move around no problem and I feel cute and put together. So picking out a cute outfit to wear to campus and taking time for myself in the morning to get ready before I go into school and also making coffee at home to save money instead of going out are all things that I've talked about in this video. I just feel like romanticizing school is so much about the experience that you make going to school and in prep for it. Like that's what made me so excited to go into another semester because I'd be like, I'm gonna look cute. I'm gonna carry around my books. I can take pictures as I take notes. I feel like what's so important is you don't need to spend money for any of this stuff. Watching some of my favorite shows was another way I got excited about school, especially Gilmore Girls and The Vampire Diaries. Those are always my favorite to watch during the semester. I just feel like they're the perfect fall shows and I love the Elena Gilbert aesthetic and dressing like her and Rory has so many good quotes in Gilmore Girls that I just feel like these shows can have such an influence over this time of year and I always get so into shows like this. So those are ways that I get excited about school 
school and I ended up getting straight A's through almost my entire time in college. I got the dean's list every semester. Like I was getting my best grades in college versus high school just because of my mindset because I was excited about going and I wanted to do my best. I think my mindset was always to try my hardest no matter what that looked like. Even if I was studying for an exam that didn't have that much weight on my grade, I still wanted to try my hardest just because I knew I could do really well on it. If you want me to make a whole video on how I study, I can do that. But in this video, I just wanted to show you guys like how I got into the school mode, how I got excited about it. And next, I wanna show you guys my desk setup. This is my workspace for school and for working from home. And I think this is so important to have like a specific spot to work at. apartment all the time and I work from home I like to have a lot of different spots that I can work at so my desk specifically has been a great spot to be productive at this is what my desk looks like right now all of the furniture here is from Ikea I still have some art supplies underneath to put away still um, but for the most part everything is very organized I feel like this setup is just so cute I have like this little cave where I just work on stuff. So even on the walls, I think it's nice to have my own work up. Even if you aren't doing art like I am, just having your space more like school themed with calendars or post-it notes. Some of these like weekly planners are so nice to just have out. I just feel like it makes me feel very motivated when I just have materials and stuff like that out on my desk. My desk isn't perfect. It has oil paint all over it, but that just gives you the hint that I'm working hard and getting stuff done. This shelf is definitely my favorite. Favorite. I love having all of my paint stuff out so it's easily accessible but also because it looks cute and kind of sets the mood for my space. I really wanted to have like a good organized spot for all of my school supplies. So here I keep pens and I have them like pretty organized. This is all colored pens, black pens, and here is like my everyday bin. Usually when I start working I just pull out this bin and put it on my desk so that I'm already ready to go. This drawer is markers and sharpies and I have some of these really nice colored pencil sets. This drawer is pencils, highlighters, and drawing pencils and erasers. Like having these organized bins just makes me feel so much more productive and like ready to get stuff done. And then lastly, this drawer is all paint. I have watercolor tubes. I have a watercolor palette. This is an extra liquid for my oil paint. I have all of these like paint markers. It just makes such a difference having this all organized. And then of course having a comfy chair to sit at and some natural lighting I feel like is so important. Just like everything else in this video, I'm always looking to Pinterest. I'm always looking to Pinterest for inspiration and ideas for my school aesthetic, just because I feel like it's important to romanticize your space. So even when I'm not going out to a coffee shop or going to the library, I feel like just working at home, lighting a couple candles and color coding my notes really helps me to romanticize doing my work. In some of my past videos, I've set up my desk and had like a galaxy light on or listened to a study playlist. And I feel like those are perfect ways of making it more fun to do your work. So that is what my desk looks like. I'm still working on it all the time, but I thought that would be helpful to show you guys my setup. And then of course, this wall behind me is all of my artwork and it really helped me to display my stuff. So even though 90% of the time I'm studying at home, it is nice to change it up sometimes, especially when you get far into the semester. I like changing up my workspace when I start to feel unproductive and I get out of my loop. It actually does a lot to just change the setting you're in. And if you go someplace new specifically to get stuff done, I feel like I really get on the grind. Coffee shops have always been one of my favorite environments to go and study in, but I also love libraries because they're so accessible and they're free. So I actually have a huge library at my university. Even seeing my classmates and other people studying helps me to be productive too. So I'll bring my headphones and all my supplies. I'll usually wear a comfy and cute outfit. And I recently got an iPad so I've been taking notes digitally. I love using the Notability app because they have a lot of different templates that you can choose from and download and then use them yourself. So I like downloading planners so I can stay organized through my week. I've also made my own calendars and grocery lists. It's just so different from um, using pen on paper. I use this all the time, not even just for school, but just to plan or take notes.
So I just started cooking tonight's dinner. I'm making spinach right now, and I'm gonna make this gnocchi, which is so good. He wants to say hi, he's going crazy. I've been scrolling on TikTok recently and I've been seeing this garlic recipe. And I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically like you take the garlic out of the shells and you put it all in olive oil and then you cook it for like two hours and it makes the garlic into like the softest like butter. So I did it. And so this is all the garlic in here and then this is the olive oil that you can save. And I've been so obsessed with this. Like I'll literally cook with it. I'll put it on pasta, I'll put it on bread. So right now I'm cooking the spinach with the olive oil and then I'm gonna to take some of the cloves of garlic and put it like on the spinach it's gonna be so good so I just wanted to share that because I had never tried it before and it was a lot of work but I still have so much garlic left so I think I'm gonna cook it like that again in like my next video but yeah so I'm making spinach tonight and then I have the gnocchi I love this stuff it's so good I was literally looking on Postmates for like 10 minutes and I was like yeah, I'm gonna order food. Yeah, like what should I get? This all looks so good. And every time I do that, I like think about it way too much and then I never end up ordering something. I end up like cooking something really good because I'm like, okay, if I order something, I'm gonna have to pay for the food. I'm gonna have to pay someone to go pick it up and I'm gonna have to tip them. And they're not even gonna come to my door because the way my apartment's laid out is we have so many different like security checkpoints where I have to scan my key. So there's no way for a delivery people to get all the way up to my door so I would have to go down and meet them and I don't want to do that like that kind of takes the purpose out of not leaving your apartment to get food delivered to you you know so I was like honestly I'll just cook something and I barely have anything in my fridge right now and here we are I'm so hungry I love spinach by the way also, look how cute these are. I just got out all of my new wooden spatulas and spoons and they're all from the office. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, look at this. How am I gonna cook with that? It's just too cute. Here is what my dinner looks like tonight. It looks so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. And now it's ready. This looks so good. I added the garlic and olive oil to, to pretty much everything, honestly. Um, so. Ten out of ten. I love the spinach so much. We're also going to be opening up a bottle of wine. Um, so this one is a Moscato. Oh, it's not. It's a Gran Spumanti. I don't know. It's a Gran Spumanti. I don't fucking know. It's sweet with flavors of apricot and peach. This is the only white wine I have besides one more that I'm saving. So we're going with this. And look how cute. How cute is this packaging? My boyfriend's mom gave me like a bunch of bottles of wine with the cutest decoration. It says glass of 2023, Jarell Cushman, pairs well with a bachelor's degree. Ah! I think I showed these in one of my last videos, but so, so cute. I got these for my graduation from college. Mm, cheers. It's very good. 